In this video, I'm back with my first NBA 2K23 dribble tutorial of, of the year. And I'm going to show you guys all the basic moves that you need to get down. All these moves will connect to will connect together and allow you to do some of these glitchy combos that I'll be doing. So yeah, man. Make sure our boys drop a like, drop a sub, turn on notifications, join the ISO gang. Also, I'm going to be making a whole dribble tutorial playlist. Link to that will be in the description down below. I will be adding videos as we continue to go throughout the year. So yeah, man. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get right into the video. And you guys already know I got the hand cam on deck. But if you guys want my drill moves, put these on. I believe that they're the best. And you want to put these on if you want your combos to look exactly like mine. So to start off, to do a simple momentum dribble, what you want to do is I do not hold turbo. That's also good because you're not going to lose stamina as you dribble. To do a momentum spam, if the ball is in your left hand, what you want to do is flick the right stick up towards 12 o'clock and then immediately flick the left stick to the right towards like 2 o'clock and you'll get this momentum animation that you're seeing right here. To do a momentum dribble if the ball is in your right hand, I do not hold turbo like I said because it saves stamina. The ball is in your right hand, you're going to flick the right stick up towards 12 o'clock and then you want to immediately flick the left stick towards 9 o'clock and that will activate this momentum dribble animation. So to do the actual momentum spam where you're doing the momentum left to right again, you do not have to hold turbo while doing this and this also stay, saves your stamina but it's all about rhythm and timing and once you get it down it's extremely easy the ball is in your left hand you want to flick the right stick up towards 12 o'clock and then you want to flick the left stick towards three o'clock and then you want to do another momentum dribble as soon as you see the animation start to play out you want to flick up on the right stick again and then on the left stick, you want to flick towards nine o'clock and you just want to spam that left to right back and forth. You guys can see what I'm doing on my left and right stick. But like I said, it's all about rhythm and getting the timing down. So to do the fast spin back, the ball is in your left hand. Again, you do not have to hold turbo for this move. If the ball is in your left hand. You want to rotate the right stick from 12 to eight counterclockwise and then flick down on the left stick. To get the fast animation, you need at least an 86 ball control. If you're under 86, you'll get a slower spin type of animation. And if the ball is in your right hand, you wanna rotate the right stick 12 to three clockwise, and you also wanna flick down on the left stick. To do the fast back this year, it's better if you hold turbo while doing this move, if you don't hold turbo, sometimes it gives you weird animations, but whether the ball is in your left or your right hand, it works the, the same way. All you wanna do is hold turbo, flick up on the right stick towards 12 o'clock, and then you flick down on the left stick towards six o'clock. And to spam this move, you continue to hold turbo and just flick the right stick up and the left stick down. So to do the nutmeg, you need to have an at least an 86 ball control. As you're moving up the court, you don't have to hold turbo while doing this move. As you're moving up the court, if the ball is in your left hand, all you wanna do is moving behind the back and then flick up, but you wanna do that extremely fast. So if the ball is in your left hand, you wanna flick the right stick towards five o'clock for your moving behind the back, and then you immediately flick up towards 12 o'clock. You gotta get the timing down and do it extremely fast to get the right animation. And if the ball is in your right hand, you wanna be moving up the court. You wanna activate your moving behind the back by flicking the right stick towards seven o'clock. And then you immediately wanna flick your right stick up towards 12 o'clock. You don't have to hold turbo like I said, and you wanna make sure that you do that in one fast motion to get the right animation. It's all about timing. Do a misdirection behind the back, you're gonna to have to hold turbo this year. So what you wanna do with the balls in your left hand, you wanna hold turbo, you wanna flick the right stick towards five o'clock, and then you wanna flick the left stick towards three o'clock, and that will activate your misdirection behind the back. And if you're if the ball is in your right hand to do the misdirection behind the back, hold turbo, you then wanna flick the right stick towards six o'clock, 
and then you flick the left stick towards eight o'clock. There are different moving half spin animations that you can get depending on your angle and depending on which spin that you actually have on. To get the best half spin animation out of the basic spin move, you wanna position your player at an angle. If the ball is in your left hand, you don't have to hold turbo for this move. You want to rotate the right stick from eight to 12 clockwise, and that will activate your half spin move. So you guys can see this is a different half spin animation that you can get. If the ball is in your right hand, you wanna be moving forward or at an angle, and then you wanna rotate the right stick from three to 12 counter clockwise. Next, I'm gonna show you guys how to do the basic one spin back. This move is crucial to a lot of the glitchy combos that I'll be doing. If the ball is in your right hand, you wanna be moving forward. You don't have to hold turbo to do this move. The ball is in your right hand, you're moving forward. You have to make sure that you're moving straight at the basket because if you're off or at a different angle, it won't give you the fast spin back animation. The ball is in your right hand, you want to rotate the right stick from 12 to three clockwise and that will activate your basic one fit fast spin back. And if the ball is in, is in your right hand, make sure your player is moving forward directly towards the basket. Don't be in, at an angle because you want to get the right animation. Make sure your player is moving forward. You want If the ball is in your right hand, you want to rotate the right stick from 12 to three clockwise and that will activate your basic one spin back. So yeah, man, those are all the basic drill moves that you need to get down. I'm gonna be dropping more bangers on how to connect everything together and just go crazy in the park on the ISO. You guys already know the vibes. Drop a like, drop a sub, turn on post notifications, man. We out. Peace.